Hey everybody, we've agreed to uh, work with Discord and partner up with those guys. Why? We use it. We think it's really good. Our guild's transferred over to it and it's been awesome. And they were the first guys ever to offer us a really fair square deal, which is rare in this industry where everyone wants to sort of jerky chain. So fair play to those guys. They asked us to list the points that we thought was the best about it. One, it's free. Duh. It's got a solid codex so you don't get Mr. Roboto whenever someone doesn't pay the extra cash for a decent codex as we've seen in the past. We had loads of people on there, like a hundred people, and it was running just fine no issues at all you can catch up on all the memes and the images and all the links and stuff that people leave behind if you miss the raid or whatever so you're not outside of the joke which is always a pain in the ass in raiding and also you can join the class specific discords for the raiders out there so you can keep really up to date with all the changes or just joining the bants when things aren't going great and you can all start slagging it off so if you use our link down below uh, they're going to offer us some extra stuff that we could throw into a silly video so if you're going to use it please use our link and then we can hopefully reward you with something cool all right, let's go on. The Emerald Nightmare is upon us, ballers. What's up, dude? What's up, mate? What's going on? So we thought, because we didn't do it ever before, we'd have a quick run-through of our first week raiding, because and play, everything changes when you farm. It you becomes do. super dull, and yep. uh, duh, of course we do that. Uh, but the first week is the first week. I was lucky enough to, although I've been playing Legion for nearly a year, is uh, didn't know it anything about it. I knew Xavius was the last boss, but that was about it. I didn't know what we were going to run into, didn't know what it looked like. Uh, and then we step for the first time. So I've cleared heroic and normal. You've got a couple of heroics left to do. Yeah, we've done normal for heroic, I want to say. Excellent, excellent. So let's have our first thoughts then. Going in, your visuals. Uh, enjoyed it. I liked it. It was a nice take on the, the whole green, overly green, Moonglade dream-related thing. Um, Corrupted by the red. An absolute corruption in these areas. I like that they did that. There's a nice bit of variety in the zones with... Well, existing zones with this corruption. Um, yeah, I liked it, man. I liked it. It was uh, interesting. We really didn't see the effects of it being a nightmare until scenarios, but we'll get there. I, yep. I don't. I think that's fair to say. Mm -hmm. um, both of us, uh, we went into Nathandra. Is it Nathandra, the first it boss? It is. Nathandra. Went into Nathandra, uh, and then we realized... I only realized, actually, we did normal after we cleared Heroic, just in case somebody got something worth having, um, was that they changed the approach this time our normal and heroic by just flat out removing mechanics and particularly removing the which we've seen before obviously but removing the punishing mechanics oh, well it was a large chunk of damage that was removed yeah very very yeah. difficult to fuck up normal an interesting approach this time rather than usually normal to heroics like a damage buff and mm -hmm. maybe a couple of extra mechanics but now they just flat out remove the things that will often yep. kill you uh, and see what's going and how that's going to play out long term I don't know will it be a big shock when people go from normal and be like okay we can manage this uh, normal, of course, is at least on our server, is being pugged successfully at full clears. Yep. Um, will it be a case of heroic just seems really overwhelming to a lot of people? That would be interesting to see how that do. plays oh, out. That's the point. From normal to heroic, you'd think it'd be a steady incline, but I think people going from normal Nathandra to heroic Nathandra are getting significantly more bugs and stuff. They might be like, oh shit. Yeah, considering Maybe. that there is going to be a lesser difficulty <laughs> as well. Maybe, we don't know. LFR, we were discussing earlier, is, is LFR not going to be actually easier, but it might just be a sort of puggable normal mode with less loot to give be. people the experience Could to be. go in and maybe try it normal. We don't know what approach they're taking this time. Uh, but Nathandra, I think uh, it's fair to say, because we're both classically mythic raiders, um, these, these uh, normal heroic aren't generally designed for us, so normal is felt very, very crazily easy, uh, and even heroic did. Heroic wasn't uh, anything we hadn't seen before. It was get the debuff, move away. Uh, dragon's breathing, don't stand in front of it, and then let it reset and do it all again. Exactly that. And that was basically the summary of the whole fight. Uh, so both of us smashed it pretty quickly. You I think she looked good, though, the skin of her. Yeah, they both that like, really, really and Bloodborne, corruption. Dark Souls 3 feel. It had yeah, the uh, yeah. same exact animation that we see. Most people are probably more familiar with Dark Souls 3 having that uh, than Bloodborne, which is the same thing that had it. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> Nathandra was en from an entry level boss, okay. Personal, really disappointed. Mm -hmm. Really disappointed. Then we move through the most annoying trash of all time. Oh God, the, <laughs> the, 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 the spores and the oh. lurking things that slow you down and all that kind of stuff. Uh, smashing our way through that. And then we get our choice of bosses. Love how small this instance is. 
Our normal clear is about 30 minutes. Don't mind doing that at all. That's what you can just drop into, drop out, get a ton of artifact power, drop out again. Um, where do we go first? Are you calling it the tree or are you calling it the eye? The eye. You're calling it the eye. It's I a, call it the eye as well. It's a great big eye. It's a great big a partial phase of Yogg-Saron. And this was a, a real sloppy big, phase. Low budget Yogg. It's a great big low budget Yogg, low budget Cthum. Cthum, yeah. Yeah. Um, was dramatically disappointed in this fight. Uh, as soon as it start, as soon as um, it was being explained, which you know a lot of people do that before a raid pull, it's like this is what's going to happen. I was like, what? Wait a minute, we're going to kill this, and then it's going to open up to a brain thing, and then we go in the room and kill the brain, and then we get out before We've the brain get closes. Out the timer finishes. I was like, really? They're doing this again? And uh, yeah, so not impressed with that fight whatsoever. No. On normal, on normal, it's, it was so boring. But the the heart room <laughs> for me, just as a side note, it felt. Like they ran out of time designing it. There was nothing exciting in that room. Well, I think that's because me and you were going to compare it to Yogg, who did progress on Yogg, right. uh, which is going in, going through Stormwind, and then having that mechanic of splitting the DPS correctly so that you can maximize brain up time, and then the panic of trying to click that brain thing because it was yeah. always really hard to click, uh, where now you just move through the door. What um, I mean, though, wouldn't like when you go through, though, it is a hollowed out tree with uh, a partially pulsating heart in the middle. There's nothing exciting. Yeah, really in crazy the core, how they went away with if you it. Like, yeah, the boss fight. And we know in Mythic they're going to be adding in tentacles that mind flare you straight yeah. from Cthulhu, straight from Yogg Saron, uh, exactly the same mechanics. So that was basically a very weak reskin for me. Uh, yeah. Some people said they really liked it because they got to cheese big time the AOE. Uh, I'd say that's in my bottom two. Oh yeah, yeah, easily if not my worst one. So, uh, well, contending then for that bottom two spot, I'm guessing. I'm guessing <laughs> is our next boss, which was the Bear God, apparently. Correct. Good lord. Correct. Good lord. Um, oh, talk about a dropping of the ball. Not a heroic boss. No. Not a heroic boss. But in normal... Like, I feel heroic should have been the normal. Yeah, in normal, like uh, Nathandra, normal, even if you ignore the mechanics, you, you're still punishing your healers. In normal, Ursoc, the Normal Ursoc is don't move. Just DPS it. Just DPS it. I mean, we just, we I just didn't get it uh, when we did it on heroic, and uh, it was like, okay, the charge will come. We got to split the groups. I was like, right, and then and, and I was waiting for the and then what happens in in this giant room? And it's like, no, this is the butcher patchwork fight essentially, which Blizzard apparently feels we need to have. And people love those fights. Don't get me wrong, people love those fights, but. Uh, just wanted it to be over the second it started, pretty much, and just get out Absolutely. of there. I was done with it. I was yeah. like, I don't need to practice DPS in bosses. I've nope. been doing that for a while. Uh, so, Ursoc, nothing much to say there. Was blah. Uh, moved on to another Blair boss, which you killed by accident, by accident. which is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, the Dragons of Nightmare. We started to clear the trash in front of the dragons. I think it was a barrage or something like that that actually aggroed the boss. Um, one of the tanks grabbed both of the dragons at the back. Um, well, the raid leader actually explained what's going to happen. And by that point, we split. We got the dragon split and we killed it first time. But without without hardly any punishment for that. No, very strange. Especially, uh, the only disappointment for me here was, one, the fight overall. I've never died to that fight and not even close to wiping. Like, no. I don't think we've had any deaths in the raid. Uh, maybe one from something. I can't even imagine what. Uh, but... Um, to see names like Lethon, Sandra, these are some You've big, 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 big hype names. Yeah, these the are some big, starts. big names, especially for those of us who did Lethon in yeah. Vanilla, and he was a fucking brute to the point where if he spawned, of all the four Emerald Dragons that you wanted to fight, Lethon was the last one you wanted to fight because that guy was a fucking hard ass. Yeah. Um, again, again, hopefully Mythic has got something there, but in terms of a boss fight, <laughs> okay. Uh, so we kicked off with four for me underwhelming boss fights. Yes. Uh, which didn't impress me either mechanically or visually, really. I mean, Nathandra looks quite cool. Then we got to something that was actually pretty fucking cool, which was the spider boss. Yes. A mix of Kun, a little bit of Zulharat going on with debuff overlapping and trying to position that in the correct way. Ren Feral, mate. Ren Had so much fun with this one. It's got some good trolley moments. It's got a bridge you've got to cross where you've got two choices, my man. There's a big one with a storm on it, <laughs> or there's a little fucking tiny one, unless you're a twatty demon hunter like you, you can just How jump across. How dare you? <laughs> just but jump very across. standout phases as well. A Clear shift in phases, the animals yeah. where you basically know, even if you don't read mechanics, when she shifts from a spider to a bird, it's like, this is going to be a completely new set of mechanics. Now. And all mistake, all things that wipe you on that fight are player mistakes. Yes. I absolutely. love that. It's not just overwhelming damage. It's not just this. Like, so if you put the storms in the wrong place, or you drop the pools in the wrong place... 
and she starts doing the gust, the death, uh, the death winds or whatever, and then storm starts spitting that poison at you. That's because you fucked up, right? Yeah. You got that. You got the positioning incorrect. Love that. It's like who did that, and then you can analyze it, and then that person improves. Uh, and then going over, it was a, a dirty kill. I'll say our first one was a dirty <laughs> kill, uh, but totally enjoyed that fight had fun with it can't wait to do that one again love to see what it's going to do in mythic purposely avoid I, the only mythic mechanics i know of were the really boring bosses where i was like what does this guy do in mythic because hopefully it's going to be cool uh but um that one i'm like i don't care i'm going to wait and see what happens because that mm -hmm. place was great visually looked fantastic environment was fantastic a real unique setting compared to everything we've seen before like yeah, the dragons yeah. and ursoc are just in a cave or a glade or something and then we move to the most visually striking arena, maybe debatable, uh, Mr. Scenarius, where they really played on the dream. That looks so good. Yeah, they went with that Dark Souls so 3 ending, that Inception sort of feel, yeah. where the dream is collapsing, is the idea, I yeah. guess, there. Uh, the nightmare's falling, because you're getting towards the end. Uh, a very cool, a very good fight from a sort of tactical standpoint. Lots of things to control there. Our fight bugged, unfortunately. You're supposed to oh, control no. the spawns of the oh, dry ants. Yeah, with the with the spawn selection time. yeah you got the spawn selection with the ray positioning but it just flat out didn't work twice in a row even though we were all there there was no way it could have gone wrong but it was like nope you're having more <laughs> fucking wisps or you're getting double dragons or whatever um so whatever it was it was fine and it's got that nice uh, dps control towards the end which i think is a good lesson to learn in heroic where you stop dps to make sure you got a smooth transition onto yep. the orion because uh, if you don't and you still got like a fucking ancient tree up you're gonna get fucked um, all those things I thought were quite nice love the return of mechanics like the brambles which add-ons don't track because there's no fixate debuff or anything like that uh, and normally it doesn't seem to matter because it doesn't do anything but on heroic that thing will chew your fucking oh, yeah, raid to absolutely. pieces uh, which is great so Scenarius was a good tactical sort of mechanical fight wasn't as fun as the spider for me but was still a reasonably decent fight so yeah. those two back to back i was like okay we've got a decent raid here mm -hmm. and then we fell to for me was the most disappointing fight in the instance compared to uh, except for ursoc and the oh. eye which was xavius but Cho first Gal. of all let's talk about the visuals of chogal heroic yeah let's talk about the visuals uh i love it and people are torn on this, this is, I, I was just gonna say this is such a torn subject in the fact that people just hate the fact that it's a greater white gloom but I absolutely love this. You descend into the roots of the tree where the core of the nightmare is. And you're greeted with, you look up, you see the roots, you look around. It's like a purgatory, you know? This is the core of the problem, basically. And I absolutely, absolutely I love loved the, it. I love the Just enemies coming them, out of yeah, the gloom. Coming yeah. out of the mist and in all different shapes and sizes. And then when you get into the, the encounter, you see like... just an outline of a great big faceless who's about to smash the ground. If you're close enough to get that in your peripheral. It's kind of like um, a two times the size Hellier type. Yep. You look up and it's like, holy shit. But just the little which things Which you like expect that. in a nightmare, which is what fits exactly, in so well. Exactly, exactly. Even the mechanic for that is literally get out of yeah, the Yeah, it's just to move out the circle, yeah. but visually, but very cool. But the visual cool. for it, really, really Super cool. Super cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm a total fan of the gloom. I think uh, I think it was a great approach. I don't think they needed to get over the top with it. No. Uh, I think it suited what was going on very well. He's, uh, his model is very cuddly. I want to snuggle his little, <laughs> his little tummy. I want to cuddle him up real nice. Um, just disappointed. Mechanically, though, was super disappointed. Uh, that it was a, almost point for point Chogal Heroic. There's some very minor differences, obviously, which there will be, but oh, the the overall view, even getting the damage buff by getting the corruptions and stuff like that, is straight out of uh, Chogal Heroic. Uh, had a great moment this week, which is like the, not the lifesaver moment, but that moment where you like was the ball. You're the real MVP. <laughs> yeah, managed my corruption stacks to the point where I was the only one left with Dream to soak up the <laughs> pools as we transitioned to the last phase. So I was like, I'm all over this because they were panicking and I was like, I got this. Daddy's got this. Uh, sorted all that out, which got us a kill. But very, very easy. Our uh, first pull of the night was 2.5% and then we killed it on the next pull. Um... And it, but the 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 big well, that wasn't an issue for me. That it was pretty easy. I mean, we were expecting this trend to continue from Wad, which is the last boss on Horik was very difficult. Black Hand was, Archimonde was. Uh, this time, not so much. He's easily farmable within a few. You know, it's just going to be yeah. a DPS yeah. Zerg next time. Um, but other than that, it was dis it was definitely disappointing. But I think we had the conversation. We've got a lot of raiders and Stark in Team One, who used to be mega raiders uh, like me and have joined the sort of retired life. And um, they've already come across these mechanics. Yeah, but it, again, we the discussion we had was Chogal Heroic was done by so few who that eventually went on to do Sinestra. Obviously, he was the entry to Sinestra if you didn't want Heroic. 
Uh, it was done by so few and so long ago that for nearly everybody playing, this is it's a brand a new, new mechanic, fight. Yeah. yeah, so is it a case of it's so old and done by so few uh, in terms of the Cho'Gal look that it's basically a new fight for nearly everybody in the game. And from that perspective, I can kind of be forgiving as much as I would like them to be a little bit fresher. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was disappointing. I'm hoping, I'm looking forward to the Mythic on that one though. Uh, if we think about Mythics then going forward, I'm looking forward to three of the bosses, which would be Spider, Cenarius, and Xavius Mythic. Mm -hmm. Not too bothered about the other ones at all. They were very underwhelming. I would in fact say f at least four. And I, would, I would include Xavius in that for a personal perspective, although I think overall people like Xavius. Yeah. Is five out of seven bosses were disappointing. Look-wise and stuff, I'd probably give the, the rate itself a five out of ten. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. Quite an average rate. I tell you what, though, I'm going to go a bit different. The fact that I'm looking forward to in Mythic, and hear me out, is Ursoc. Wow. Because I think that that boss has been gutted to the ground to accommodate a normal and maybe heroic. I, they need to. Is it going to be the the, the free Mythic kill? Uh, is that I what think that it's boss just going to be a very be? intense DPS race. I think, I think yeah, that's and it. I think that she's going to hit like an absolute truck. I'm hoping so much that you know there's something in there that's like holy shit, like it headbutts a group in the raid and they're down to like five percent or something, and then the panic of the heal. I just want to. I've got faith that I'm going to. I think it'll be a case of a the room filling it. up will literally be the point where you just like if you don't kill it, you got this keep your group time, separated. No, you can't because the room will be full. It's like if you don't kill it by this time, then it's over. So you're gonna. I think it's just gonna just be a strict. DPS time. Race. I think it's just yeah. gonna be a strict time loop. But I'm I'm waiting to see. So that's my final thoughts on it. I preferred Heimol. I thought this Heimol was a much fresher, much Agreed. more creative instance. Yeah. Uh, but I see a lot of people prefer Emerald Nightmare. So I'd love to see your thoughts on it as well. Well, that's what we thought. So let's see how we feel after Mythic and see if we change some <laughs> opinions. Because uh, you never know. It can only take one mechanic could to be, make a fight be. tremendous, and it might turn out that Ursoc's the best boss. You never know. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. Leave, let's, let's know your thoughts. Oh, God, what do I sound like? Like a right YouTube prick. Uh, like leave and your subscribe thoughts in and uh, leave your comments <laughs> below. No, but I do want to know. I do want to know what you think. So Say like and subscribe. No. Say it. No. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>